Hey, hello everyone. And today I'm starting the new project. And by request of my customer, I will be installing direct drive motor from this tape transport from BX300 deck into the Nakamichi DR1. And also we will tune it and recap. So stay tuned. Uh, Recapping was requested for the a solid polymer capacitors to make it as best as it can. So this would be an interesting project. As you know, I'm already uh, did such swap before. So now I would have to repeat it uh, with a couple things more as I will have to ship it. I will have to uh, so how to fix the uh, playback amplifier board because uh, we cannot uh, keep it on the back plate anymore so in my previous setup i just uh, used the screw to pull it uh, to the bottom chassis but single screw is not enough for shipping it can break so let me think how i may make it better all right so now i have to remove tapes transports swap the motor and next step i would have to build a power supply for this motor because the original power supply is not so powerful all right so stay tuned and see you in the next part well guys before disassembling i verified that the deck performs well so it was playing really nice so heads are in good shape and next step is to pull out tape transport. Uh, just remove bottom cover, two screws on the bottom, one on the top. Remove the door, uh, open. Remove the door cover, open the door, and it's possible to pull it back and just disconnect all connectors. And that's uh, as easy as that. All right. So next. Uh, I will be swapping, uh, so I have to remove this uh, playback amplifier and put it uh, aside together with this board, uh, this metal piece, right? So uh, that's where I would need to think how to fix it. So it was in proximity of the head cable, which is right here. And at the same time, I didn't affect it uh, by the direct drive board here with all this noise, all right? So let me move forward and I will show you most essential pieces. I already did show uh, how I'm install every single part. So you may follow my previous video with all the steps. And for this board is really minimum replacement is these two capacitors by 10 microfarad, just to not go back from the sound perspective. But uh, usually for this board, I'm trying to replace all capacitors just to make sure that we would not need to remove it again. All right, and then I will work on this board to replace capacitors as well. So stay tuned and you will see the final results see you well guys uh, i removed the motor right I remove it cap stands i remove it motor from this board because you would need it to hold the playback on board and have enough shielding now i'm removing the cap stand bearings right now i will remove the second one and then I will start disassembling the other tape transport because you would need uh, different capstan bearings set. We would need to install the stands right from the other tape transport and so on. Stay tuned. I will show you the most important moment in this video. All right, and here I just extracted direct drive motor. So I removed the capstans. All right, and I had to remove this baseboard with uh, capstan bearings because this is not removable, as you may see. 
and we will install it into the other tape transport because it has all the same holes and we should be able to install it smoothly all right so this part don't need us anymore so it will be spare parts when needed all right so now let me prepare and we will start assembly okay i installed the base with the bearings the same way lubricated and now you may see how long both capstans rotate and it's going and going and going and it's how it should be all right and it's easy same way like three screws from the top part to fix uh, the base uh, we're missing one screw because uh, on dr1 we have head adjustment mechanism where the screw is installed and there is just no room uh, to have it fixed all right so I'll continue assembly see you soon all right and here is tape transport assembled so capstance rolls everything's fixed and the board is attached the only thing i did not connect power supply yet i need to check schematic from what i remember from the last time this power supply didn't work for me because this motor consumes bigger power so i need to recap and uh, see schematic and see probably i will build the same bypass power supply as i did before we'll see all right i had to break this piece from here uh, which was connecting these two parts together because i need this piece to connect and hold this uh, part with the sensor all right and i still would need to use this part because it uh, makes um, shielding for the playback amplifier and uh, i will install it all together in the deck so there are like, no parts left the only parts left those capstans and those pieces all right all right moving on see you soon and here i just completed recapping of the playback amplifier on the power supply i installed it fg gold capacitors and on the sound pass i installed solid polymer 10 microfarad so it's niche cone capacitors so now it's time to assemble see you soon all right and this will be the last part for tonight so tape transport install it back i didn't connect its uh, playback amp yet so here we have connector not much room to tell the truth uh, i would see how to fix the playback amp i believe in my other time i was able to use this screw right here this one we'll see and here will be connected to the playback amp so these two connectors and we have to provide power supply that would be for tomorrow and for tonight just stay tuned i hope we would be able to do to repeat what i did before uh, this time it was easy i know all the steps so i was able to quickly reassemble tape transport now I have to make it running. See you. And here, everyone, a motor is installed. Uh, so far, I connected it with regular wires. And here is a playback amp. And here is the results from the front, the plane. And from the back, motor is running. And it stops when I click stop, same as DC motor was stopping. But this motor needs more power to start. 
that's where like we have uh, speed roll up uh, during first two seconds and I will be connecting the DC DC stabilizer I have to order it so that's the results that it will look like so see and this playback amp I would need to put into some kind of the box and recap the board so see that's recap it amp no hum noise everything is pretty clean waiting for parts okay everyone uh, I connected so far the power uh, which was going to the DC motor is the same 12 volts but as you remember from my previous uh, uh, project uh, this 12 volts comes from this power stabilizer from the audio board and it's not powerful enough for this motor so when motor is fully stopped startup type is like about two seconds that's where like I would need to um, I'm already ordered the uh, tracker power DC DC stabilizer, which I will install and have motor uh, running all the way, like this direct drive motor. All right, but while we're waiting, so we can check, so everything works. So you see a little bit slow start, but then it works pretty fine. Sound is good. Speed, I believe needs a little bit adjusted, but I will do it uh, after. I will uh, install the proper power supply. Uh, there is no any hum noise coming from the uh, playback amplifier. That's a good news. I still need to uh, put it into some box uh, so it uh, would be safe here inside and not short anywhere. And uh, recapping for the audio capacitors left. So I will do this as well. So far we would need to wait at least a week while the parts will come. And uh, right after that, I will complete this project and show you the results. All right. So, so far that would be it for this deck. See you in one and a half weeks. Bye-bye.